Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Real Talk. I'm your host, Pat Brock, and we've had an amazing time. We've got the Miss Black Dublin U.S. Ambassador Scholarship Pageant winners with us. And of course, the great Miss Brenda Smith. How are you? I'm fine. I'm just so happy to be here. So glad that you're here. And we've got the second runner up, Miss Jalicia McCray. <laughs> how are you? Fine. How are you? Doing very well. Now, listen, the pageant has taken place. The winners have been announced. And Miss Brenda seems to be breathing normally now. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, I was truly stressed last week. There are no words, right? No words. Being away from doubling during pageant week right. was something that I could not prepare for. You had a business trip, so you had to rely on your sister Carol. I did. <laughs> And she came through with flying colors. I don't think that people understand just what goes into an actual pageant. All of the behind the scenes work, the things that go on with the girls as they're doing all of their transitions because she had so many different categories. Mm -hmm. Jaleesa, how do you feel right now? Well, now I feel better than what I did last <laughs> week. <laughs> Were you nervous and had a lot of things going on inside and out? Yes, ma'am. I was a but well, this is my first time doing this pageant, mm -hmm. and it was a lot different than what I'm used to. So right. I was a tad bit nervous, right. but once I got there and got into things, I was better. You were better. All right. And Miss Brenda, you had to have a lot of moving pieces. I did. A I lot did. of moving pieces. Talk mm -hmm. about everything. Okay. First of all, this pageant has eight categories, and <laughs> we have to have all of the materials ready mm -hmm. for the pageant. Uh, the score sheets have to be done. The judges have to be notified and see affidavits mm -hmm. that they have to certify that they do not know any of the contestants. Right. I have to make sure that my contestants are ready. <laughs> and then we have to have that final rehearsal. Mm -hmm. And with this rehearsal, my daughter is not there. Brianna. Brianna. <laughs> and Brianna is the specialist with the choreography mm -hmm. and coaching. So I'm a little bit nerved. Uh, but this year, right. she chose two of our contestants mm -hmm. to be in charge when she's not there right. for the uh, dance number, mm -hmm. our opening mm -hmm. dance number, right. which was fantastic. Dream girl. Yes. <laughs> I was out there screaming and hollering myself. <laughs> so once we got the pieces together, and really they did not all come together until Saturday morning. Saturday morning. You hear how you're, you're kind of nodding. <laughs> Are you in agreement where you didn't see it coming together and it was so close to the curtains opening? Yes, ma'am. It, it was literally like an hour before the pageant started before we actually got everything to where it was perfect. Oh my gosh. And so all of the adrenaline flowing, so many young ladies, you had so many people that were helping mm -hmm. make all of this work out, all of the chaos. It's chaos, really. And then the curtains had to open. <laughs> then they had to open. Yeah. And my basic principle is that if the girls are teetotally liking not getting dressed, <laughs> we are still gonna open those curtains <laughs> at six o'clock. Wow. And we did. You did. No, we and did. they looked so beautiful. Looked so beautiful. They had the, the same matching dresses for their dream, the dream girl sequence. Now, Jalicia, <laughs> ma'am. Were you already a dancer? Yes, ma'am. I'm on the dance line at the high school. So this was easy for you. Were, <laughs> yes, ma'am. Did you help a lot of the other girls who didn't quite get choreography as well as you? Yes, ma'am. I did. It was fun, actually. That's great. That's great. And now, Miss Brenda, tell us about the costuming. Well, I have to take credit for that, <laughs> <laughs> if you must. I must, because I am the stylist. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. My daughter comes up with uh, the thing, and she does, uh, as I said, she does all the choreography. Right. However, I put the costumes together, mm -hmm. and I just make sure that it's appropriate for the right. thing. Mm -hmm. Now, the first time they saw their costumes, they were like, what? <laughs> What in the world? Yes. That's out of their whole uh, genre. True. Of mm -hmm. music, of fashion. So you took them, you gave them actual history lessons. I did. Yeah. And then they 
learned a little bit about me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I really didn't care what they thought about that. <laughs> <laughs> so Jaleesha, looking back at things now and going through that first number yes, in those outfits <laughs> with that music, with those dance routines which are, which are slightly different yes, for what you do on the dance line, what do you think about that? Well, I actually enjoyed it a lot better because at first, like she said, I did not like those outfits. <laughs> I was like, what is this? This is not me. I don't wear right, this. Right. But actually, when we got on stage and I looked back at a video, it looked really pretty. It looked and beautiful. And the style of the music was great because I actually watched the movie and it felt like I was actually one of them. Yes. So I enjoyed it. And I the thing is, it. too, like as in this pageant, you all are, are performers you're actors you're having to be so many different people and so many different elements so it's really stretching you all just right. a little bit more yes ma'am all right miss brenda keep going with the categories okay then uh the first category is the personal interview with the judge and i have the young ladies come in at 12 o'clock mm -hmm. just to make sure they are calm uh of course they want to eat <laughs> so we had mcdonald's <laughs> right <laughs> And uh, then we began to prepare for the one-on-one -on -one interview with the judge. Judges, I like for the contestants to at least spend three to five minutes with the judges. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And in most cases, they did. They did. Right. And so after this, we have photogenic, yes. which we have one of the photogenic winners with us today. Very good. And at six o'clock... It, we become live. You become live. Mm -hmm. So, Jaleesa, at 3 o'clock, you're in front of a judge <laughs> answering a question <laughs> with someone you do not know. Tell us how that went for you. I'm not a bit people person. Right. I am a bit nerve-wracking when I get around people I don't know. Yeah. So, talking to them, at first, I was like, what do I say? How long do I stay here? Do I keep right. asking this question? Do I go to the next one? I was like, oh, my God. I was freaking out. Were you freaking out internally mm -hmm. or externally? Internally. I tried All not to show here. it. <laughs> but they were really nice. And as I went through the interview, mm -hmm. I kind of relaxed a bit and it helped me get through it. That's good. Was it everything that you th see? Because you guys, you go through so much in your mind of how this evening is supposed to go. Did everything go according to what you had planned? No, ma'am. <laughs> not at all. What would have been the highlight for you that evening? Well, I would say being second runner-up, runner -up. U.S. ambassador. I never would have dreamed that I would have gotten that position. Wow. Ever. That's amazing. And, of course, you all are vying for the same title. Yes, ma'am. And so to be in the position that you are, you're an honor student, a junior, yes, right? And this was your first time competing in this particular pageant. Yes, ma'am. Is this something that you would, you would want to continue in this vein? Definitely. All right. And Miss Brenda. You tell us in your own words about this young lady here. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> uh, sometimes we ask that question. Use one word to describe yourself. Mm -hmm. One word to describe this contestant is amazing. Wow. Uh, I have to type up all of their hobbies, mm -hmm. um, their career wear, church affiliation, mm -hmm. desires. And when I was reading hers, yeah. it was just amazing. She's done so much and still has so much available for her to pursue. Mm -hmm. But um, the word that comes to me for her is amazing. Amazing. Thank you. And You're so welcome. you are representing as the second runner up. Yes, and so what are her requirements throughout this year? We are heavily community oriented mm -hmm. program right so we do so many things out in our community yes, uh, first of all her role is to be a mentor mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. others yes, to always put her best foot forward there you go but we call I will call and I have had contestants in the past to say you have been invited to take a part in this. And they will say, well, I can't do it, Miss Brenda. <laughs> so yeah. I let all of the girls know that once you begin this journey, it is a journey. 
and we do expect your participation. Wow. And you're ready for this journey? I am. I'm excited. All right. <laughs> We're excited for you. Congratulations to you. You look beautiful on that stage. Thank you. And you're a work of art, and we are so proud to know that you're representing the Miss Black Dublin U.S. Ambassadors Scholarship Pageant. Thank, Thank you, you so much. We'll be back in just a moment, ladies and gentlemen. Dublin Nissan delivers the truck with America's best truck warranty. The Titan four-wheel drive crew cab is as low as 32488. Call, click, or come see us. Dublin Nissan, the only dealer you will ever need. You've been saying you want it, and now's the time to get it. Pool and patio furniture, in style, with fabrics you want, comfort and durability you deserve. You'll even save on accessories and add your own personal style. Peak season and telescope casual furniture, a new category of furniture made of superior quality marine grade polymer, will not crack nor separate in any outdoor environment, and proudly made in America. Come see the full line of pool and patio furniture at Mid-State Pools and spas today and bring home a colorful poolside with the original Pauly's Island Adirondack chairs. Visit our showroom today and see the complete line of lounge chairs for your pool and see the selection of Louisiana grills. The wood pellet grill that bakes, roasts, braise, smokes, grills, sears, char grills and barbecues. Anytime's a great time for a Louisiana grill. And now's a great time to save at Mid-State Pools and Spas located on Veterans Boulevard in Dublin, Mid-State Pools and Spas. We know pools. All right, and now we have the first runner-up, Miss Naya Maynor with us, a senior honor graduate. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. I'm happy with my position. Very good. Are you breathing okay now? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Miss Brenda, talk to us about this young lady. I was so happy when I had my meeting at Dublin High School mm -hmm. and I saw Naya. Because actually, I've been watching Naya for many, many years right. when she was a little bitty thing tap dancing <laughs> right, right. on stage. And I also knew that she was a very intelligent, mm -hmm. is a very intelligent young lady who is on course to be a salutatorian. Thank you. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. Yeah. Well, Naya, here you are. You're in a different vein. You were up there on that stage competing in a pageant. <laughs> okay, your first one. Yes, ma'am. And you got first runner-up. Yes, ma'am. And so tell us what, it, what was the highlight for you of that entire evening. What did you just love the most? The highlight of that entire evening, I would have to say, is the, was the opening because everyone well, at first, behind the scenes, mm -hmm. everyone was nervous, saying, I don't want to forget my introduction, or what if I forget the dance? But everyone calmed down, mm -hmm. and when it was time for the show to begin, everything came together. Everyone looked beautiful. Everyone did well on their introductions. Mm -hmm. So it was a great sight to see everyone smiling and happy and saying, oh, I felt good about that. And yeah. that was just a good feeling for me. Now, do you remember what your introduction was? Yes, ma'am, I do. All right. Give us your introduction. Good evening, everyone. My name is Naya Maynor. I am the proud daughter of Dr. Nelson Maynor Jr. and Mrs. Deborah T. Maynor, as well as a senior scholar who attends Dublin High School. A, an unknown author wrote a quote that says, create whatever mindset you want and conquer it. <laughs> So tonight, as contestant number four yeah. of this year's Miss Black Dublin U.S. Ambassador pageant, I plan to do just that. Conquer it. There you go. You conquered it. Very yeah. good. And you know, and just to hear you girls and to see how well-read and well-spoken you are, it was just really nice to kind of sit back and watch that. Mm -hmm. And so, Miss Brenda, so you had that initial introduction for them. Mm -hmm. And then as we move on, tell us what yes. happened next. Our next event is talent. talent. Of course, I ran to the dressing room and said, get ready for a career. <laughs> <laughs> this is all that behind the scenes yes, stuff that's going yes. on. And then I ran back, no, 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 it's talent, it's talent. <laughs> so um, talent was amazing. Yep. 
uh, we really do not practice talent until the final rehearsal. So it's, it's up to them to kind of get their cell, get yes. themselves ready for mm -hmm. that in mm -hmm. that environment. Mm -hmm. And you did tap. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> and what was the song? Was it Sing Sing? Yes, ma'am. Sing Sing Sing. Three sing Sing Sing. Yes, ma'am. And so you've been tapping for a number of years. Yes, ma'am. 15 years. And you're teaching. Yes, ma'am. This is my first year. And so you were definitely in your elements with your talent. Yes, ma'am. Definitely in your element. And so the girls were just so talented to see the different yes. genres of what they were doing. Mm -hmm. And so that just goes to show that we have a community of very talented people. Mm -hmm. And just to kind of witness them that evening was extra special. And so and also we, we transitioned uh, to career mm -hmm. wear. So they had to dress in uh, what their... Uh, potential career would be. Mm -hmm. Somebody was an astronaut. Yes. Yes. Contestant. I mean, uh, the runner, second runner up was yes. an astronaut. Number seven. As I'm watching her, I'm like, hmm, I want that costume. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought it was just so beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, to hear what was being said. Mm -hmm. and, and what was your career? An anesthesiologist. An anesthesiologist. Yes, ma'am. You had several that were anesthesiologists. Yes. And I had to type that word all night long. <laughs> <laughs> and so, I mean, just think about um, their aspirations and the way they speak upon that was just mm -hmm. really nice. And so they did career. And then what? Uh, at the career came formal. Yes, formal wear. Formal. Mm -hmm. Now, Naya, you look gorgeous. Thank you. Tell us about the process of kind of deciding what your dress was going to be or how you want it to, to look that evening? Well, to be honest, my mom played a huge part <laughs> in my dress. Yeah. She found the dress and she mm -hmm. said, Naya, do you like this? I said, well, I said, yes, ma'am. So she ordered it and when it came in and I tried it on, I fell in love with the dress as well. You look, you look Thank splendid you. Mm -hmm. in it. Thank you. Dear. Splendid. Mm -hmm. Now, when you girls had to walk around, walk, you know, <laughs> when you had to do your walk, how was that for you, Naya? It went well. <laughs> the night before, we found out the problem of right. why I was stepping on my dress. Mm -hmm. So mom pinned my dress up, and it, was, it made it easier for me to walk. As the night went on and we stood for a long period of time, the feet began to hurt. Yes. <laughs> Well, you know, I thought about that from you girls. I'm like, gosh, they're my heroes just for standing that long in heels. I mean, you know, when you prepare yourself, you sometimes can't prepare yourself enough. Would you say that, Miss Brenda? I definitely would say that. And actually, we changed the way that we usually do formal mm -hmm. and the question. We kind of integrated it. Okay. They did not leave the stage. Right. So we were hoping that it would make it faster and then they would not have such poor tired feet. Oh From my. what I'm hearing. That was not the case, was it? <laughs> I mean, you know, um, they did have to stand for a long mm -hmm. time and had to stand still until really? it was time. Mm -hmm. And you girls look so elegant. Thank you. You look so dear. elegant. And mm -hmm. so at the end for you, Naya, when they were doing the awards and then, then announcing the second, the first, the queen, what were you feeling on the inside? I was feeling like a princess. <laughs> oh. I felt very special. Wow. Then I got the director's award, so that made me feel extra special. Oh my gosh. So it was a great night for me. I really enjoyed it and I had a huge smile that entire night. You certainly did. And so the director's award is what you received. That's from you. Yes. And why did she deserve that? Because she is a 17-year-old humanitarian. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when children who did not have rides right. for practice, uh, and we just put out a mass text, right. I don't have a way to get there. Mm -hmm. And I look up, and there's Naya with someone in the car. Lord, if she's not her mama's daughter. I tell you. <laughs> and uh, then she said on your show yeah. that, in other words, she has been blessed throughout her life. Right. But she knows that others have not had the same right. type of upbringing mm -hmm. that she has. Mm 
And then too, she just took care of poor little old me. <laughs> that's just that's just it, plain and simple. And that's so beautiful. And at such a young age too. And and I think I've asked you this before. Do you think it comes from the way you're raised by your mom and dad? Yes, ma'am. Mom and dad have played a huge part in my life. They were my first teachers. Mm -hmm. So I'm the young lady I am today because of them. Beautiful. And so after everything that you experienced, getting <laughs> leading up to Saturday and finishing Saturday as the first runner up, what message do you want to give to the people out there? Um, Philippians 4 and 13, you can do all three, all things through Christ who strengthens you. And that is really very true. This was my first pageant and I managed to place first runner up. So you can do anything you put your mind to. Don't listen to any negativity because in the end you'll truly be successful. Beautifully said. Congratulations to you and such a pleasure always sharing the table and chairs with you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right. Naya Maynor, ladies and gentlemen, first runner up. I've been practicing mostly preventive and invasive cardiology. Example, the other day I had an elderly lady about 85 years of age who was referred to me because she had an abnormal stress test that was done at her family doctor's office and she was not taking any medicine and she was referred for a cardiac catheterization. Well, that's I consider inappropriate since the patient was not taking any medicines under the guidelines and under logic. Uh, the emphasis is on treating those patients uh, with medications and only if they fail medications would you then proceed to possibly further investigation such as a cardiac catheterization or the need for a stent, which I do, or the need to send the patient for a bypass surgery at a tertiary center. I don't have a mission statement, but my statement is uh, go through life and touch people positively and make a difference in somebody else's life. And that's how, how I practice, and that's how I live. Hi, I'm Perry Williamson. We've been serving the Dublin Lawrence community for over 90 years here at Williamson's Bakery. We specialize in donuts, cakes, pies, cupcakes, cookies, birthday cakes. They're our business, not a hobby. And don't forget our large selection of cheese straws. For special orders, contact us on Facebook, Instagram, or better yet, just come get you some. When you stop by, be sure to try our all new Pig in the Blankets. We have bacon, sausage, and chicken. We're located at 1634 Veterans Boulevard, Dublin, Georgia. With the hot, freshest donuts, come to Williamson's Bakery. We proudly support our area athletics. All right, all hail to the queen, Miss Janiah Oliver, the queen. How are you? I am wonderful. How are you? Doing very well. Congratulations to you. Thank you so much. This has been a long road, a very long road. Absolutely. And so, you, you were in the pageant last year, right? And, yes, and how did you place, how did you do last year? Um, last year I did not place, but I did receive Miss Congeniality and mm -hmm. Part of Most Talented. Part of Most Talented. And so what, what made you decide, okay, I'm going to do this again? You know what I mean? So a lot of times when you do things like this, no, when you do things like this and it's kind of like if you don't place or you don't do as well as you had wanted to, it kind of affects your spirit. It does. And so it kind of dampens your spirit because there were a lot of girls who were in the pageant and some didn't place, had done it many times, and that's hard on a person. Mm -hmm, and so what made you decide to say to yourself, I'm going to do this again? Well, honestly, I started not to do it mm -hmm. in the beginning, but me not placing was not the reason why. I was kind of like, well, this is my junior year and this pageant takes a lot, mm -hmm. as I said before, a lot of time management, right. a lot of effort, and I was kind of, I was kind of worried yeah. I was going to fall off track, but I still have um, an A average, mm -hmm. so, and I maintain to do the pageant also and receive the title of the queen, so. Wonderful. You know, as I saw your mom and dad when you won, I said, oh, goodness, I think they don't won, too. They need their crown and their scepter because I think that it's such a, um, an exciting time. And I think the parents that work with you girls, I mean, they pour a lot of themselves into it as well. And so, Miss Brenda, this one right here. What do you say about this one right here? She is extraordinary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She is. Um, and because I have known her 
for such a long time, it is very difficult for the two of us to sit together and not smile. Wow. <laughs> Janaya is so very talented. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Her dance is anointed. She is also a very intelligent young lady mm -hmm. and reminds me of myself, which I have told her before, wow. because sometimes she has a very professional attitude. Very straight lace like there, this right that's here. That's it. You can't crack a smile, that's can't get a it. smile out of her. Now, Janaya, how did you kind of loosen up in a few areas to make sure that you were well-rounded throughout this competition? Well, I know I definitely had to loosen up a little in my interview, mm -hmm. which I think is what was the most important part to me mm -hmm. as of what I had to work on. Right. I knew that was my weakest point, so mm -hmm. I was really pushing for that. And also, before it was actually showtime, when you're backstage with all the other girls, yeah, <laughs> you want to be professional when it's right. time to get on stage and practice, but when you're backstage, the pageant is also about having fun. Mm -hmm. You want to incorporate that as well, yeah. even though you're working for a title. Were you able to have fun? Absolutely. <laughs> they, the other contestants, yeah. they were my fun. I built so many bonds, and at the end of this pageant, like I really, I love them. Like they're my own sisters. That's beautiful. Point. Was it chaotic behind behind the scenes? After six o'clock, <laughs> yes, ma'am, it was. <laughs> and if anyone's ever done theater. Theater is an organized chaos to where there's so many moving pieces. And in order for you to hit that stage, to hit the points where you need to be, I mean, it requires so much that people out there do not even understand. And so with that being said, who did you have in the dressing rooms helping these girls? We had a number of people. <laughs> um, however, I was the run, go, tail, is time right, person. Right, right. You were the runner. <laughs> yes, I was the runner. And uh, one time that I went back, I sh observed a moment mm -hmm. that I will remember forever. What's that? All of the girls were in a circle, and they were asking each other the questions and wow. really critiquing answers. Mm -hmm. And I've been in a pageant, been over a pageant where no one would be speaking right. and would definitely not share an answer. Mm -hmm. And at early on, we eliminated a contestant for stealing another contestant's answers. Wow. So, but really, there are 10 contestants. You will be mm -hmm. asked 10 different questions. Right. So no one is going to get your question. Yeah. But I just thought that was amazing. Wow. Do you remember that? Um, that she's talking about? Yes, ma'am, because I was kind of stressing over my questions. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you, you study them and you study them and you study them. Right. But when it gets to the point of time where you have to answer them, it's like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so I had a yeah. notebook that I wrote my answers in. And I picked it up, started studying, and I also had my questions in that notebook. And we were all just sitting there, the other girls were talking, and we just started asking questions aloud. Wow. And whatever their answers were, if we felt they needed to be critiqued, as Ms. Brenda said, mm -hmm. we would help each other out because, as she said, it's 10 questions, it's 10 girls, nobody will get the same question. Yes. Mm -hmm. So therefore, you won't have to give the same answer. That's mm -hmm. nice to know that you mm -hmm. are really helping one another out, even though you were going towards that same crown. True. Um, that still shows a bond that you all did um, build throughout mm -hmm. this and I know that's one of the things that you think is special about the the actual program itself yes. and what it does. Mm -hmm. You had some different uh, foundational um, awards and scholarships that were given. Do you want to yes. briefly tell us about those? Yes, we have two foundation awards. One is the Mamie Thomasina Dudley mm -hmm. Pearson Black Cultural Award mm -hmm. and this year it was one by a senior, okay. Amaya Adams. Okay. Actually, this award is toward uh, the benefit of only seniors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the family, the Pearson family themselves, determine who the winner will be. Gotcha. The next award is the Women on the Move Book Club. That's your book club. Yes. With you and your ladies. Yes, that's uh, me and my girls. <laughs> 
Uh, it's a $500 award, mm -hmm. and it is for the highest scholastic average. Okay. And this year, Ms. Naya Maynor Beautiful. received that award. Wonderful. And so you had other awards mm -hmm. as well, and tell us about those and who won those. Okay. I know she had so many, she, had, she didn't have room to, to hold mm -hmm. them. And I'm going to let her tell you about okay. her awards. All right. But our next award is from C&E Youth Services, and that is a business owned by my sister, mm -hmm. Carol Edwards and Yvette Woodall, and they do youth services. Mm -hmm. uh, they, this award sponsors the Miss Congeniality. Okay. And this year it was $150. Okay, very good. The next award is in memory of Miss Melba Bates Baker. Mm -hmm. She is the late mother of Tina Baker Ivy. And this was the first time that Tina is sponsoring this award. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's in the amount of $100. Very nice. Now I also like to say that um, Tina is my resource person. Mm -hmm. She provides all the food for the contestants. That's your girl right there. Yes. And my sister and my brother-in-law provided the food for our judges and out-of-town guests. And it was delicious. Thank you. <laughs> And so now, Janiah, you tell us about the w awards that you won outside of the Queen. Well, I can see I received the Director's Award. Mm -hmm. I received Miss Congeniality, mm -hmm. Miss Photogenic, and Most Talented. And the Queen. Yes, ma'am. Right there. Right there. <laughs> and so as they were calling your name out, what, I, what was going on with you? I was zooming in on your face as much as I could. And, I, you know, what were you feeling? What were you thinking on the inside? My, I will say my facial expressions changed quite a few times. <laughs> I was shocked, but all at the same time, I was super excited because you hear your name called for one award, then you hear it for another, then you hear it for another, and my face is just going. Are y'all serious right now? <laughs> Are you I, did not, right I did not know what to think, actually. And then when they announced you as the queen, and uh, Whitley came and placed that crown on top of your head, and you gave your victory walk, what does that mean to you? I was truly honored to be crowned actually mm -hmm. and blessed extremely blessed at that and it's the title of the pageant is Miss Black W.S. Ambassador so now I have it instilled in me that I have to portray my leadership qualities even more than I did before that's right to be the ambassador that people are expecting me to be that's right because ambassadors are representatives yes ma'am and so um Miss Brenda now with the being part of the Miss Black Dublin U.S. Ambassadors pageant, mm -hmm. you, now Whitley goes in January, right. is that right, down to Savannah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was a change in their leadership mm -hmm. because usually the contest would have been in October. Okay. But with the new leadership, it has been changed to January. Got it. So. I don't know if they're going to do two in one year, mm -hmm. but the very next one will be this one right yes. here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. This is such an exciting time. And you know, it was good to see Whitley and also mm -hmm. we got to see um, Kennedy Blackwell yes, Lewis. Yes. We didn't get to see Hannah Edwards. She had a previous engagement. Mm -hmm. But just to see those girls come back, mm -hmm. to see how they've evolved and how they've changed, and to see some of the other queens from well, different um, other areas, mm -hmm. to see them there was really special. And so as the Bible says, to whom much is given, much is required. And so with that being said, as the new queen, you're going to have a busy year. So we're going to be seeing Miss Oliver around. We're going to be seeing the first and second runner-up girls. We're going to be seeing them around. They're going to be doing their thing. <laughs> and we're so excited about that. Miss Brenda, any last words that you'd like to give to the people out there about the whole process of this pageant, this scholarship pageant, um, what your feelings are right now, and of course, moving forward. Okay. 
I love the pageant. I love what we are doing for these young ladies. All are aspiring to be great. And I want to be a, pro, a, a part of that process that will help them attain their goals. Mm -hmm. I want to thank everyone who contributed, who are donors to this belief. And I am hoping that at the end of this program, we can share a list of who you are because you too are some of the most special people wow. in the city of Dublin, Georgia, <laughs> Lawrence County, the state of Georgia, and the United States of America. <laughs> We're definitely on the move, aren't we? On the move. Well, we want to congratulate all of the young ladies who had the courage, the will, and the stamina to go through this pageant. You all look beautifully. You perform beautifully, and congratulations to the young ladies that did win the various awards and to the ones who are the first runner-up, as I wave to them right now, Miss <laughs> Maynor, second runner-up, I'm waving to them right now, Miss McCray, and hail to the queen, Miss Oliver. Thank you all so much for joining us. That's all the time we have for Real Talk, and please keep watching.